It's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of the striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out for you. This round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Set up that low kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this challenge. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Right under the elbow, the body the line. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Yeah, 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Blocks the shot. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Nice counter shot there. Trying to hammer that lead leg. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Come on, you got a little more, come on. One minute to go in the round. Win this round. I need you to get the take 45 seconds remain in the round. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Trying to kick the leg out. Look at him whip his hips through that kick. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's that's a big strike right there. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Superman punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Now connects with a right. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, oh. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Take him down. Take him. Take him down. Very tricky to throw that body kick. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. 
Oh, big head kick land. Whiffs on the right hand. Good punch land. Ten seconds remain in round two. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous right. two rounds. Your right. expectations here as this Go next round gets out. I expect the action to really pick up though. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. I want to see the low kick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Let me see those kicks. Nice loop and punch. Back and forth we go. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Nice punch lands. Three minutes to go in the round. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Well, missed on that one. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Big body kick lands. Kick is there. Go. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And he landed the right hand there. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Sixty seconds. Finish strong, baby. Finish strong. Big punch land. Ooh. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big kick. Nice. Ooh, head kick lands. Hurt. Yet another combination is good. Beautiful leg kick throw. That's three, three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Last round. Had him hurt, almost finished. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling. This round. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on that. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect 
on a high volume of strikes here. Big kick lands. Just out of range with that uppercut. Misses with the left hook. Nice job of hiding that head kick. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Now a knee to the body. Just over three minutes to go now. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Beautiful body kick. Nice kick. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Good stick. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. And he continues to work the body here. And they separate. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, good strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. How about those five minutes? Let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Efficient with that jab, doubles up on it now. Big ball for Bushman is, now he gets back to range. Home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick, he did not recognize it. was coming high, Ooh, diving punch. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Back to the feet now. Getting back fist is there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Changes his stance. Defense. Under three minutes now to go round five. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising and it's only getting worse. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Beautiful one. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter? Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big knee to the body. 
missed with that attempt. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ninety seconds to go in the fight. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. There's no kill on that leg kick. Nice body. Blocks the strike. Nice. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. He should be very proud of his performance.